If you think B.Tech degree is necessary to get into a tech company, then you are wrong. If you have said this in 2015, I would have still agreed. But now it is possible for anyone and everyone to get into a tech company in a tech role without having a B.Tech degree. A report from McKinsey revealed that 44% of people who are working in tech don't have a B.Tech degree and are from non-tech backgrounds. These people are civil engineers, B.Com de degree holders and even art students who have got into tech fields. So we'll be talking about the things that you need to know to get into a tech company. What are the roles that you can get into? What are the skills that you need to get into these tech companies? So this video is all about that. In today's world, companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft focus more on your skills than your degree. So if you have relevant skills for a role, the chances of you getting into these companies is higher than people who have a B.Tech degree, but they don't have skills. The journey is going to be tough. It's not going to be easy for sure. You'll have to work hard for around a year to get into these fields. But if you do that, the fruit on the other side is really sweet. So in this video, we'll be talking about three step process which will help you get into these tech companies. I'm not going to give you any false hopes. It is going to be tough for you to compete with people who have been learning these skills for the past four years in their B.Tech programs. But there is still chance if you work hard and if you follow the three phase process that I'm talking about in this video, then you can get into these tech companies. The process is going to be very practical, very logical. There are no fluffs in this process. So if you are interested and if you want to get into a tech company from a non-tech background, click on the like button. Tell me which company are you currently in or what is your current background so that other people can also get motivated by seeing you as you have started this journey. And I have talked to people who are working in these companies who had non-tech backgrounds. So you don't need to worry that this is something which I got out of ChatGPT. This is actually the experience of people who are working in these tech companies and had non-tech backgrounds. So hi guys, I'm Nishan Chahar. Welcome back to the channel. Let's start the video. So if you are thinking that you can follow random tutorials and you can get into a tech company, then you are wrong because you need a few other things as well while you are in this journey. So I have broken things down into three phases. Number one is your clarity phase. Number two is your execution phase. And number three is using these AI tools to help you in your journey. So first we'll start with our clarity phase. The biggest mistake that non-tech people do when they want to get into a tech company is that they run after software engineering roles that are not the only roles which are available in a tech company. So first of all, before you start writing your first line of code, you should decide which role you want to target. And that also depends on how much coding you like. If you don't like coding, then role, there are multiple roles in companies which require less coding as compared to direct coding roles like software engineering, data science, and other AI engineering roles. So you can get into a less coding intensive roles. So that's why first I've decided the roles into two parts. One is pure coding roles and the other one is where you need less coding. So first we start with pure coding roles. So roles like software engineering, machine learning engineer and data scientist, these roles require a lot of coding and you should be hands on writing code in Python, Java, JavaScript or any other language which, which you have decided to like uh, learn coding in. So if you already like numbers, if you like solving puzzles, if you like solving problems, then this can be a right role for you, but it will require an intense 12 months process because you'll have to learn a lot of things if you want to compete with people who have been learning or having a degree in data science, machine learning or computer engineering. This is going to be demanding, but the reward is also very high because these roles have an exponential growth. They don't grow linearly. As you grow in the, your career, as you have more experience, your value or your worth keeps on increasing. What do you mean by high reward roles? In these roles, the learning curve is very steep, but once you understand everything, then it is much easier to learn new things on the way. Plus, the more experience that you get, your value increases, your CTC increases, and it is easier to switch between companies as well. The reason why these roles pay so much is because the learning curve is so steep, most of the people leave it in between. So if you're a person who likes logic, who likes uh, solving problems, but you don't want to stare at code or you don't like staring at code or writing code, then there are alternative roles for you as well, where you require low coding or no coding. Now I'll be talking about some roles where analytical thinking is required more than coding. And these roles are like data analytics, business analytics, and others we'll be talking about in this part of the video. Number one is data analytics. What do data analysts do? 
you get raw data and you have to analyze that data and tell your insight from that data if you like doing that this role can be a good role for you number two is business analyst so what do business analysts do so you have to understand the business requirements and tell that to the tech team convey that to the tech team so that they can create the software or the product that you need and then keep on con conversing with these people then comes your power bi or tableau developers they are good with power bi and tableau and they can convert any raw data into beautiful charts or beautiful tables and they can visualize the raw data show that to people and get out insights from that data and help business grow apne aap se jhoot mat bolo so if you have tried uh learning python for a month and still you are not able to do that then you can choose a data path or a design path because these are also tech roles which pay a lot you can learn python or you can learn data analytics you can get into tech roles which pay good and decent but you don't have to code that much next comes your tech management roles in these roles you should have some management experience if you already have some management experience you can get into into these roles there there is project managers there are program managers so both uh, have some management experience some of these require some technical experience as well but most of these roles don't require technical experience they require management experience one example is your it project manager what do they do ye projects ko na timeline ke andar rakhte hain and they also keep that under the budget next comes your operation managers what do they do is they keep everything in process so that the business outcomes are delivered and all the processes should run smooth so that is what a operations manager generally do then there are other roles as account management or sales tech sales these roles also pay a lot so tech tech sales require some sales experience but you should have some technical experience as well so that you can talk about these things in depth and you can actually sell the product but the technical depth which is required is not that much and you can learn that on the go then there are roles like developer advocate dev, dev rels your community managers these are mostly in saas companies software as a service and wherever the end user is a developer all these roles come into play they also need some technical understanding but most of them are either uh, you have to create blogs you have to create tutorials you have to create the how to docs which you see if you are a developer and you have to go to places to present the product to get more users to get more consumption so now you have decided which role you want to work for which role you want to learn things for next comes your phase 2 which will take around 90 days and this is the execution phase so now you have created the strategy you have decided which role you want to target now comes the execution part where you have to learn the things that are required for that particular role so task 1 is going to be the learning phase so if you want to get into data or if if you want to get into design then you need to learn the fundamental is first so people who want to get into data you need to learn excel sql python and you have to master these skills so first one is data so if you want to get into a data field you need to learn excel sql python and you have to be pretty strong in these next question is kahan se padhna hai so there are two youtube channels that i will recommend the number one is tandu the second one is kevin startwort so these have a lot of free tutorials you can learn from this at least spend one week here next one is going to be sql sql is the most important part because you will work on a lot of relational databases if you know sql then you can really become a good data analyst so you can learn this from w3 schools or khan academy these are some of the best resources and python ke liye mere channel pe already maine ek dedicated roadmap banaya tha you can definitely check that out too uh, python for beginners and a coding roadmap is also there you can go through those but if you are struggling in self study and you want a structured path also with a reputed tag then i have the perfect thing for you if you want to do this then you should definitely check out the professional certificate program in data analytics generative ai and adaptive systems this is not a ordinary certificate program this is by ihfc the technology innovation hub of iit delhi and it is powered by simply learn there are three things which will help your resume to stand out number one is you get a direct certificate from ihfc delhi so if you have this on your resume to tumhara jo non tech wala barrier hai that will go away and it will also help you create a unique profile second is isme generative ai and adaptive systems are included that means you will be mastering excel sql and python and also you will be mastering a lot of ai tools which companies are looking for in 2025 and 2026 number 3 is there are live interactions in this course and you also build 15 plus real world projects and there are capstone projects as well which will make your resume stronger and not just this you also get two days campus immersion program in iit delhi and you also get the completion certificate by microsoft this is an 8 month extensive program which has hands on projects mock interviews and career assistance as well if you are serious to 
switch your career then the link to this is in the description you should definitely check it out let's move to design now so people who are interested in design roles should know figma and they should live breathe eat figma all day but first you should be clear with figma and the core principles of designing to learn figma you can check out saptarishi's youtube channel He's a really good friend as well and he creates amazing content on design and if you consistently practice for 2 to 3 hours every day for 4 weeks then you'll be really good at designing and you can get out there get some freelance clients get some freelance projects to improve your portfolio but you should always remember only watching videos will not help you out you should have a good mix 70% of your time should go and practice and learning things by doing and 30% can go into watching videos watching tutorials reading blogs when you practice then only you actually learn things and whenever you hit a error or if you are not able to understand anything paste that error paste that problem in chat gpt ask chat gpt to explain things like a five year old don't copy paste anything directly from llms you should actually understand what is happening and then do the same thing on your own now the task two is going to be the project phase you have learned the basics you know how to deal with data if you are going for design you know how to create designs now you have to create some projects that you can add to your resume to showcase the recruiter or people that you actually know these skills just adding them in your skill section won't do the job and ideally after learning things for two months you should start building projects build the most basic project and then keep on evolving and honestly you can't expect creating a calculator or a basic to-do list app and thinking that you'll get an interview call so you should actually create some real world projects which have some depth so i'll give you some examples so the best part to showcase your skills and your past experience is combining both so if you are from a sales background then you can create a sales dashboard or a mini crm tool if you are from a finance background you can create an expense predictor or a budget analyzer and if you are from psychology or arts background you can create a mental health app you can actually do a ui ux case study on why this app should look like this because you actually understand user empathy more than any other person if you are from a psychology or a art background and by this approach you will become a t-shaped developer that means you know everything in the breadth but you know something very really deep where you can actually show your skills and your past experience you should showcase your projects on github or behance and should post on linkedin x wherever you have some following or even if you don't have following you should post consistently to get traction from people so we have successfully completed two phases now comes the task number three where you have to actually do networking and get a job so if you start applying randomly on job portals like knockery linkedin etc then the chances of you getting a call back is really less because you don't have the basic minimum requirements that these platforms require so they'll just bifurcate the applications on the basis of the degree on the basis of the projects or the skills that are written on the resume and sometimes by the first bifurcation it Itself, you might not get the cut because you don't have a BTEC degree on your resume. So the better way is to do cold outreach or to text people on LinkedIn. So you need a backdoor entry and this can be done via cold messaging or cold emailing people. Also you should change your LinkedIn headline. So if you are writing aspiring SG, don't write that. Write what you are building right now, the things you, that you might have built or write X sales turned into a developer or something like that. Try to find people who are CTOs or senior developers in companies and text them, talk to them, try to get referrals from them and schedule your first interview call. So if you're confident then that you can get into these companies, you should target the people who actually are the decision makers. And a cool way to do that might be finding a bug or might be finding some flaw in their website or their app and creating a Loom video for that and sending that Loom video to these people. This will get you direct attention. And at the end of the message, you can add that you are looking for an internship or a full-time role and you have recently switched from career X to Y. And this can reduce your rejection rate from 90% to 10%. Now comes the phase three. We have already completed two phases. Now you'll have to leverage the AI tools that are there because doing all things manually earlier would have taken a lot of time you can actually create good linkedin messages you can find out profiles using comet or atlas or even chat gpt agent and i have also created a video on prompt engineering which will help you improve your prompts to get the results that you desire also if you want to become a smart developer switch to cursor anti-gravity or any other ai assisted coding uh, ide here you can actually leverage these tools to build projects faster but you should still know what is happening you should still review the code on your own to understand the problems and 
think as a developer during an interview you can even talk about how you used ai tools or how you leverage these ai tools to increase your productivity to 10x because people right now are looking for 10x developers 10x sales person or anything 10x because using ai tools you can actually increase your productivity so much all the companies need smart people smart workers they don't need hard workers they need people who can actually get things done and as fast as possible but the important part is you need to learn the basics first because whenever you are stuck in a dead loop and the prompts the things that the, these ai tools the llms are generating are wrong you need to go hands on to actually fix the problems so ai will help you accelerate your journey and not bypass everything bypass the hard work which is required to become a tech person or to get into these tech roles i know this is going to be a tough phase if you ever face any issue any challenge you can comment down in this video and me or someone from the community is going to help you out try to reach out to people create a group uh if you have other friends as well who also want to switch to a tech role like create a group do coding sessions together learn things together ask each other doubts because when you are in a community when you are surrounded by people who are like minded it is much easier to get things done and jab bhi ye kar rahe hoge na you will feel that you want to quit today but don't let that feeling come in your way because what you are doing right now is for a better life for a better pay, pay and for a better future and to make your life secure so trust the process give a year 8 months 12 months to the process and i can guarantee you if you do all the things correctly you will be earning at least 3 4 5 x next year in 2027 so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys like the video milte hain next wale video mein tab tak ke liye bye